if this update is so huge for Avid, why the heck are we looking at Premiere Pro right now? I'm going to lay it all out for you in a segment that I call... Avid 101! Hey, this Avid tutorial is from my Master Avid class. If you want to become proficient in Avid and double your job opportunities in this crazy market of ours, check out the links below for some huge savings and a bonus discount code. So check that out. There's also an Avid mini course for folks who just want to dip their toes in the Avid waters. If that's you, check that out as well. Link below. And now here's your Avid tutorial. Okay, Avid masters, here is your proxy flow update. Now remember, first of all, it's just for Ultimate and Enterprise. So if you're not on a system that's on either of those, just watch and absorb. Also remember that this is just for Avid Media Composer Ultimate and Enterprise version 2025.6 and beyond. So if you're on anything earlier than that, default to the last lesson, the main lesson in how to make proxies and ingest and transcode. Use that method, not this method. And also, as always, if you get stuck, if something's not working as expected, you can email me and we will set up a Zoom. You know my email address by now. So we will set up a Zoom and as always, as I always do through this entire Master Avid class, I am there with you every step of the way to help you if you get stuck. I'm not gonna leave you twisting in the wind. That is why I created the course. Okay, let's go proxy flow, here we go. So as you can see, I have a bunch of clips and I even have an AMA clip, right? And if you notice, uh, we have a new column here, proxy video, new column. Very excited, very exciting. So uh, nothing is proxied. I haven't made any of the proxies yet. Uh, as you can see, these are in DNX HD high quality. So if that's the codec I'm going to kick out on, that's the codec I've already transcribed, the transcoded rather, sorry, transcoded these in. Uh, and I've got one AMA linked clip because I want to show you that it works for you both your AMA linked and stuff that's transcoded. So you can actually have just bins of AMA linked clips and still make proxies for them and default to editing with the proxies. Note, this is going to operate very, very much like Premiere Pro. So if you're coming from Adobe Premiere and learning Avid, you are going to be super stoked about this new way. And oh my God, Avid's crushing it with the upgrades lately. And I hear there's going to be an upgrade to the titler. Boy, howdy, that's a long time coming. So, okay. Uh, this is called dual resolution linking. linking in Avid's world, dual resolution linking. That's when your proxies and your full res live happily together. No longer moving forward from 2025.6 forward, are you going to have to separate your proxies into a separate drive from your full resolution media? That workflow, done moving forward, moving forward. So, that is very, very exciting. You can have them live on the same drive and just connect and reconnect your proxies and your full res, just like on Premiere. So it's super, super exciting. Uh, and you can use this new column to see which, which already has proxy media. And there's another visual you can use to do that. And I'm gonna show you now. So let's make proxies for all of these all at once, including the AMA. Let's see if that works. I'm going to select all my clips in the bin. I'm gonna right click on them and I'm gonna to go to create proxies. That's familiar, create proxies. And then I'm gonna get this little dialog box. I can do it as a background process and keep going and doing stuff, but I never do. I always just use the application because I find when stuff's happening in the background that the other stuff slows down. So I always just use application. 
you do you. I'm going to send this to the drive. It's already on. It's already on my drive that's called Prajna. I'm sending it to Prajna. And I don't have to separate them anymore, man. That's it. And I'm going to say, okay. And now it's going to create proxy clips for all of these. And, uh, and you will see that there's going to be a visual both in the timeline and in the bin that's going to show you that there are proxies. So it's just going to take a second. I'm going to do a little transition and we'll come right back after the proxies are made. Okay, and we're back. And just by way of reminder, don't forget that I did do the same steps as before for bringing my clips in, right? For the clips that I transcoded, I brought them in as AMA linked, and then I selected them and I said transcode, right? So then I can, you know, you go to consolidate and transcode, choose transcode, that process stays the same. But okay, so we right clicked, we said create proxies, here are our proxies, and what do you notice that's different about this? Now, my favorite color is orange. I know it's weird, people find it weird, but that is my favorite color, and that is the color of the halo of my little magic mouse. But look, it's orange in the middle of all of these clips, including the AMA clip. Orange is the color of their proxies. And oh my gosh, Avid, it's like you know your way to my heart exactly. So here we go. We Now we have the proxies. They're created. We know because we see that they're orange here. Now, if we wanted to see the proxy in the timeline, we could, uh, in order to see that, you know how in Premiere, you just have a toggle. You have a toggle you can put as a button that toggles your proxies off and on. Very similar in Avid. Instead of having a little toggle or a little button here, you simply come over to the play button on your window and right click it and say uh, proxy preferred. Proxy preferred. Boom. And it turned all of these here in my timeline orange so that you can see that they're proxies. Now, personally, I don't want all my clips in my timeline to always be orange always. It's, it, will, it will annoy me, even though it is my favorite color. So I'm going to come down here to the hamburger menu in the uh, bottom corner of the timeline, and I'm going to go to clip color. In clip color, I'm going to say, I don't want to see that in my timeline. I want to know if it's offline. Some people like to see that it's mixed rates. If you want to see that, that's fine. For me, I don't care about any of that. I, I want to see either the source or the timeline local in my timeline. Uh, I, I And I most of the time, I don't even go by source. I just go by timeline local. Uh, but let's, let's choose both of those and see what happens. Boom. Okay. Boom. Now we're back to the colors here so that if I come over here to let's say baseball two, that's this clip right here. If I come over to baseball two and I give it a color, let's say nuclear green, it's going to turn nuclear green because that is the color I've assigned it here. And in that little dialog box, I said I wanted to see source color as well as timeline track color. So when you do it both ways that way, just as by way of reminder, your um, you will see any color you've assigned a clip, you will see in your timeline. And if you haven't assigned it a color, you will see the timeline track colors that you assigned to each track if you went ahead and did that. And I generally do that. I have a whole system. If you want to know the system, feel free to leave me a comment down below and say, what's your system? And I will tell you. I will either answer the comment or I will do a little video on it. So there you go. Uh, but I can see that it's proxies anyway here because it's all orange in the middle. So I don't need it to be orange in the timeline. That's just me. You may like that, then don't, then don't turn that off in that little thing at the bottom of the hamburger menu at the bottom of the timeline, blah. So uh, also you've got this new, uh, this new 
proxy video right here. So we know that proxies are turned on because we see it here as well. So, uh, so now we are looking at the proxy video. And by the way, you know it too, because when you hit play, instead of that play button lighting up green as you're used to, it now lights up orange to show you that we're looking at the proxy media instead. These are the proxies. All the proxies. And this is our AMA footage, Fast and the Flurious. This is the AMA linked footage. Place Just Fine is also proxy. That's the new proxy workflow. And holy moly, it's magic. Thank you, Avid, for fixing that. That was such a huge pain point where you had to then detach your your proxies, the whole drive, re-link all your footage to the full res. Now, all you need to do is come over here, right click, say high resolution preferred. That means it's going to default to high resolution whenever possible. And if things are laggy, it will default to the proxy. Uh, I like using proxy preferred as I'm editing. And then uh, when I'm done, I like it to be high resolution only. And now it's attached to the high resolution. So for me, I'm going to choose the high resolution media for when and then watch, right? So now it's high resolution and then we're back to green here. But for me, when I'm going to export, I'm going to default to the high resolution footage. And by the way, let me... Let me tell you this. I don't want to forget to tell you this. If you come all the way down to the bottom of the, the timeline, follow the bouncing ball to the bottom of the timeline, see how this is green for video quality, right? If I want it to be on, um, I usually edit where it's kind of like the video quality, it's split between the yellow and the green, right? You can have full quality, 10 bit draft quality. That's what I usually, I always forget the name of that draft quality. It is what it is. I don't know why I forget that. So on draft quality, you can do best performance with yellow, right? You can do um, video display settings and set your settings up here if you want, right? But I usually do it on draft quality as I'm editing. I've been told by the avid gurus that depending on what quality setting you have down here will depend on what your proxy video is. Your proxy video is going to go back and forth between two different codecs and it does it automatically for you. You don't have to think about it. It will, um, it will change the quality between DNX HD LB uh, and H.264. So right now AVC is an H.264 uh, kind of quality, uh, but notice it's changed now to DNX HRLB. HR and HD, same thing, just depends on, you don't worry about that. It means the same thing. So this is low bandwidth, right? So that's my proxy video now. If I come back down here, and I change it to, let's say, full quality, so it's fully on green, and I come back over here, you see it's changed back to AVC, long, blah dee blah dee -dee blah uh, So it will do it automatically for you, depending on what you're doing down here. I generally use uh, uh, the draft quality for my timeline, because I just feel like things work better than if I click here, See how it changes to the DNX codec. It does that all on its own. You don't have to worry about it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. If you're on a system before 2025.6, use the old method that was in the first, the first lesson that I showed you on creating proxies. Refer back to that lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. More Avid tutorials to come. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and if you're interested in doubling your job opportunities and opening up a world of new gigs for yourself, don't forget to check out those links below in the description for my Master Avid and my Mini Avid courses. See you in the next Avid tutorial.